Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode 22 of Motorsport Manager. We're starting the season. Lots to catch you up on. Well, we've just about to do the car design, but before that, I've had a look at drivers because obviously the big plan at the moment is to keep GC, you know, world stroke European champion. Gerard is going to leave us definitely at the end. Um, he's got one month left on his contract. We're definitely going to get somebody better. Also, the marketability is really sort of holding us back a little bit. I've done a lot of searching um, and I've favorited a few drivers, some, some optimistically, let's say. Um, but we're in for a couple and I'll show you those as they come up. <clears throat> like this guy, I'd, I just, this guy would be amazing, but he doesn't want to come. He's He likes his GT Championship. Let's look at sponsors first, just to bring in some extra money before the race. Uh, we, we won't do that because um, we'll wait for three offers. But let's have a look at this one. Okay. Um, ten races, so two million pounds for ten races. One million up front. Uh, half a million up for oh well, well it was difficult to see that one obviously okay we'll save that we'll have a look just in case there's any really good ones no we'll keep we'll keep it we'll keep it worry about that later let's design our car it's always a fun time okay <clears throat> okay five million quid to go towards the car good stuff right how big do we go this this year that's that's the question. We've got to save money. I'd like if we have the money to build a building. Um, but also have enough that we can build parts and all that good stuff. So first off, we've got Rossini is the most expensive engine supplier. Um, very weak fuel efficiency and medium. But plus six space. I think I think this is better value. That's another million and 1.6 million for that. We're not here just to go crazy, right, people? And we can have a look at what, what the different. Yeah, there's, there's so little difference here. Um, but obviously the base stat modifier is, a, is the, the biggest change there. But I think plus two is okay. We'll go with that to start with. Fuel supplies. I'd like uh, fuel supplies, please. Um, fuel efficiency, medium. Improvability, very weak. That would give us... Although we can't unclick it, you have to choose a different one just to see. Um, that would take our improvability down a little bit. I think it's worth it. I think fuel efficiency would be really, really helpful. So we're going to go for that. <clears throat> Total cost six million so far. Good stuff. Um, what are we doing now? Materials. Let's put it out of wood. It's lightweight. Balsa wood is really lightweight. Um, medium, very weak. Weak, weak. Oh, medium very weak or weak weak for a million and a half less. That would give us a full star, tire wear and tire heating. This would, yep. Yeah. I th I think weak weak. Morimoto. Oh, Morimoto. We'll buy materials from you. Okay, brilliant accent. Right, this is big one as well. Brake suppliers. Um, weak, well that's all round bonuses isn't it, that's just an all round bonus I think is well worth 2 million there, medium on tyre heating weak on tyre wear as opposed to very weak yeah 13 million squid, that's that's, we got, so we saved a bit of money with our financial background but 12 and a half million well, that, that's, that's expensive yeah that's expensive Right, uh, we get, how long does this take? Third of the third, okay. So we should get the drivers sorted now, our new driver. Um, let's, let, yeah, let's, let's get it on there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Contract proposal. So the two drivers we've gone in through, I'll show you them now so you, we can compare. In fact, let's probably compare because um, is Harry Webb, who we looked at last season. I think it's worth paying this extra money now. And Max Schmidt. Um, Let's have a look. Details. And then we want to compare with um, Max Schmidt. It's decided not to sort of show him. Okay. Um, unemployed. It'll be unemployed. Um, Max Schmidt. Here we go. That's an amazing graph. Let's make them both really close in colours. That's, that's epic. Okay. <laughs> so they're both... 
So we've got almost four star and three and a half star. 21, 22, they're both kind of at their peak. We've got Optimist, plus 10 morale, Crash Happy, minus two focus, filming a documentary, plus 25 marketability, um, which is always nice. They're, they're pretty similar. Once that drops down, they're going to be pretty similar, 65 and 51. It's not the best, but it's much. it's a much better improvement. So... Schmidt is fuel hungry, burns more fuel than it's there to be used. Burns more, bur, burns more fuel than usual, but he's dedicated, which is a good mechanic relationship. Endurance champion, plus two consistency, plus five marketability, and that's permanent. So that, I think it's permanent. Yes, it is bloody permanent. That's very nice. Oh, and he's a paid driver, okay? So we've got to take this into account when we look at wages. The driver sponsors will pay you 212 grand per race. They are involved in, okay, which he will be because he's not going to be a practice driver. Okay, so that matters a lot. I mean, remember, money is still very much an issue. Um, let's look at the actual driver themselves. So braking, Harry Webb wins by two. Cornering, two for Harry Webb. Smoothness, nine for Harry Webb. Overtaking, seven for Harry Webb. Consistency, 18 to plus eight for Schmidt. Um, adaptability is close. Fitness is plus three for Schmidt. Uh, feedback is plus four. That's quite helpful. Focus is similar. So I'd say overall, Harry Webb is a slightly better driver. Uh, quite a bit better driver, I'd say. Those those first four important ones there. He is a better driver, okay? But it's all going to be down to wages. We can't just splash the cash and just offer stupid, stupid money. And we get paid for Max Schmidt. So that's going to be a big consideration. Let's. He's rejected the contract, hasn't he? Um... Okay. Yeah, I've got a few scouts going on as well for the new regens, so hopefully they'll come through. So he's insulted by six hundred grand a race. I'm not sure I can. I can. I can go. My, I can't go this sort of money. I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think that's doable. I'd rather have Schmidt because we know we're going to get him a little bit cheaper. He's still a much improvement over Gerard. I don't think we can do it. We're not going to do it. <clears throat> Hang on, we've got sponsors here. We've got another sponsor. All right, here we go. Um, okay, so there were three, three, and two star sponsors. Top six is nice. I think fourth and fourth is a little bit too high. And we're guaranteed payments here. And it's only for three races. So 300 grand is nice. And it's only for three races. And a decent sixth place finish. I'll accept this one. Ambrosia. Welcome. Welcome, my friends. We'll take that because we'll need every bloody penny. Okay. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Schmidt has just accepted it. Can I sign it? Can I, can I see the deal game, please? Um, so, okay, 694, but we get, so it's 480 odd thousand, which is much different to, can I sort of delay it? There's, there's a couple of drivers, um, where's my scouting? Under the button, scouting. There's a couple of regens here that look pretty tasty. Like 19 year old regen here. Feedback's awful, overtaking's awful. There's a couple of decent stats there, possibilities. Lisa Dell, smoothest, no, it's some very good stats. We, potentially, we, I suppose, potentially we could get one of these people as our reserve driver and maybe give them a bit of time on the old practice track and, and stuff. So I think that's good. I think we go for him. I think we're going to go for Schmidt. It's definitely an upgrade. Let's, well, in fact, before. Sorry if this is dragging on a bit, but I want to make sure we're not we're not going crazy. The fuel hungry is a little bit of a. <laughs> um, let's compare it with our with Gerard. See what exactly? Yeah, look, there's the difference. The only thing that Gerard wins on is smoothness. He's a smoother driver, but everything, every other stat, he loses quite heavily on. I'm just worried how much fuel that fuel hungry is. I think we're going to do it. We can't afford to get the real top-notch drivers. I still think this is he's a very good driver. We're, we're see, at the moment, we're ninth on the grid for drivers. This could change a lot because all, all the teams are obviously looking for drivers. Let's see if this improves. I think we sign him up. He's got a good name as well. 
Right. Sign it up. Make sure I cancel the right guy because that would be really awkward. Um, Gerard. Definitely Gerard, isn't it? Yes, Gerard. Confirm Gerard. Yes. Okay. Half a mil. Signing on. Okay, we can live with that. Right. We have a new driver. Has that made any difference? Where are... Oh. Totally forgotten whether we're still ninth. I don't know if that updates or changes or anything. Right, we've signed Schmidt. I'm delighted with this move. I can concentrate on what I do best: racing, shagging birds. Right, he's a newcomer. It's his debut. It's going to be his debut. I think it's a great signing. Um, he is. <clears throat> uh, where is it? Uh, he's the, so they're equal level, but I'm going to give Schmidt. The better parts here, people, clearly. Our oh, tyre simulators. Okay, we're going to spend a lot more money here, aren't we? Um, two and a half millions for tyre wear plus one. Tyre wear is a lot. We've been running some early simulations, and we think they're a gain. So I'm, I'm going to... We, I can't remember if we've got the extra money for the season. We have, haven't we? We haven't, have we? We get more money coming up soon. Please tell me we get more money. We must get more money. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. Um, is there a news up? Is, I can't remember if this is all the money we get. I've got confused. Okay, that's delivery. Uh, testing. I don't know if it's going to be on here. Do we get more money? I can't remember. I'm having a brain fart. Fuck it. <laughs> it might have been a massive mistake. I want a decent car this season. I quite like the grey. I might go for a different colour this season. Oh, well, stop, 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 game. Stop. Stop. No. Stop it. I want to see. Right. <clears throat> oh, she's been picked up. She's bloody been picked up. Oh, look at it. That's the trouble. Like, I was checking every day to see when the regens appear. As soon as, as, as drivers retired, right, I was scouting the drivers, these new regens. And... They've been picked up by teams, but like I couldn't have scouted them any quicker than I did, which just seems a bit hard. How are you supposed to just take an absolute punt on somebody, which just seems a bit weird. Okay. Did we get? Okay, no. Bup, 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 bup. Another scout report finished. Oli Boageng. What? Oli Boageng NATO. <laughs> okay, he's just not very good. If he had a bags of potential, like if he was five star potential, I know he's obviously been picked up, but if he had bags of potential, he's got decent feedback, he'd make a good reserve driver, but no. Another okay, another one scouted. Um Okay. Isabella Ribero. Yeah, they've all been picked up. That's that's impressive that they can do that without scouting anybody. Um Zero feedback. Zero overtaking. Okay, we'll give give that one a miss, I think. We've still got a few more coming in. They've probably already been snapped up, which is a little bit... Okay, another fucking tyre choice. Okay, I've got a dilemma for you. We've been playing around with the new brakes, and it looks like there's some room to significantly improve our tyre heating. However, it would make to make these adjustments, they'll have to knock off tyre wear. No, no, we'll keep it. Keep the middle ground, I think, there. Okay, scout report's done. Jesus, I wish the game football manager advanced as quick as that. Right, Mariko Katafuchi. Oh, that's a good name. Oh, Katafuchi! Oh, yeah, and he's Japanese. Why has he got a negative? Is it? He's joined a cult. Okay, he's happy about it, but he's shit at driving. Um, maybe another sort of decent youngster. Nothing, nothing special though. And Malin Morris, who's a fun runner, unemployed, really fit. That's about the only good thing about that person. What's the marketability? 34%. No, I think we'll give them a miss. I think we will give them a miss. Um, let's just check here. Um, we've got some oldies, at, um, but they're on sort of big, already on big contracts or just about to retire. Um, this is the only sort of decent one, but he needed to have decent feedback if we're going to put him in the, as the reserve driver spot. We might just leave it empty, save a little bit of cash. This guy, 
is interesting. A good racer can't give feedback, but that's fine. If we had a good reserve driver, we'll we'll put him on the favourites. He just signed a massive deal. Are considering offers. Hang on. It says he's there. Oh, but hang on. Th that's weird. He's considering offers. Doesn't he not just sign a contract? He looks like a decent over overtaking. 100% marketability. Spend thrift. Designed. Oh, okay. He wants 250 grand a race more than he normally would. Okay. Fuck that, mate. Um, uh, is it is it this person? Her, rather. No, no, that's never going to happen. Um, mm -mm. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it as is. The other one possibility was Serkan Brooks. Lightning reactions, plus two focus. Dreadful feedback, but a good young driver on not much money. So we'll keep an eye on him this season, see how he does. Um, it's good season in the same championship. Hong Liao, who we know is a very good driver. One of the sort of wonder kids at the start. He's a failed model. <laughs> That's because you look 42 years... You're apparently from China. You're 20 years old. You look 42. You've got a dodgy Magnum PI Tash. You don't look remotely Chinese. Something dodgy's going on there. We'll put him on the favourites. <laughs> I like I like your thinking. You went with it. Right. Car's halfway done. More scouting reports done. Uh, they've opened a helipad. Good for you. Zhang Feng Bei. Um, another Chinese person. I'm thinking the game needs work. Again. Interesting stats. One breaking, one overtaking, one smoothness. But he can corner like a maniac. Um, yeah, we'll give that one a miss. Some bizarre, bizarre stats going on here. Right, um, somebody retired, okay, car's almost done, okay, we get to, <laughs> Ooh, pretty colours, might go for something different this year, this is the biggest decision we've got to make this season, um, bu -bu -bu. um, Right, so let's have a look. What are we going to go with? Something uh, something nice. And, we might swap the colours over or something. I like, quite like the swish along the side there. And then, yeah. And then we've got the paint splatter. Quite like that sort of swirly mixed paint look. The geometric. I'm not. I'm never having polka dots. All right, people. It's never going to happen. I thought I downloaded some more on the Steam Workshop. Is that any for new games? There doesn't seem to be any option to to choose them, which is interesting. Um, I quite like that. Or these are all a bit dull, aren't they? Apart from the Swish one, I quite like the Swish. Is there like a... I'm tempted to go for this one. Tempted to go for this. Looks a bit Space Invadery, which I quite like. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to go for that, I think. And anything other than... All the, all the sort of muddy, mil, mixed up paint look. No, because that just looks like he fucked up the paint job. Right, that'll do. Yes. Let me know in the comments. I thought you could... Yeah, I thought you could... I downloaded some off Steam Workshop. How do you import them? Right, 83% done. If, if we've spent all our money, then we are royally fucked. I'm sure you get more money, because we didn't get any money. We got our prize money, and then the money we'd saved, but don't you get a bunch at the start? <laughs> Otherwise, we're fucked, like... You know, not in a fun way. Oh no, there's been another dilemma. I can't. Two and a half million. That's we're in debt straight away. No, no. Stop tempting me, you temptress. Okay, preseason testing. Let's go. Start testing. <clears throat> I 
This means fuck all, or at least I hope it doesn't. Gearbox issues for Schmidt. Overheating for GC. Great. Okay. Brilliant. I do, do I get money? <laughs> this is the question. Okay. Oh, here we go. Yes, there it is. The target. You choose your target. Uh, wasn't the best showing. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Right. They're saying fifth place, and we get 15 million. Third is a risk. Third would give us 19 million pounds. But I don't know how strict the chairman is. Like, if we got fourth, would he just immediately sack us? Or would he be like, oh, close enough. I'm tempted to go for third, like a shit or bust season. Our car is better. We've got the best, third best acceleration on the grid. We've got a decent average top speed. We can work on the brakes and the suspension if we've got that money to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm shit or fuck it. We've got to risk it for a biscuit, right? That extra millions. <laughs> Why we can build a building now, people? <laughs> Just want to build a building. Right, we've got a factory level two, design center level. Test track is probably the optimal. Let's just see if we're missing out on anything. Brakes is eight million pounds. Increases braking, which which GC needs. Um. Bu -bu -bu. Simulator, rear wing, front wing. We don't need those two yet. Um. The weather forecasting centre, everybody keeps telling me to build. No, it's not as fun when you know the weather. <laughs> um, I'm, th I'm thinking... Cornering and smoothness, and it's only £5 million pounds rather than £8 million. I think we go for the handling development centre. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've saved a quarter of a million with my financial genius. Let's have a look at the car. Okay, we need to improve, improve some parts. We can do what we did last time, which is just basically improve one car first, basically. Look at the difference in gearbox because of that <coughs> one we found. <coughs> Definitely found it. Okay, so get working on that. Um, they are the right way, aren't they? Yeah. It's very close, but that's it. Okay, it's going to 34 days off. They should be pretty close. Uh, maybe only one repair needed as opposed to the other car needing to fix all the stuff. If we look at parts, I think we need a, I think we need to get a gearbox, a decent gearbox for GC, I think. I feel a bit bad for him because he just won the championship and now we're giving him all the shite. But it's the nature of the game, mate. It's the nature of the game. I've completely forgotten what I was talking about improving. Um, gearbox, gearbox, gearbox. Okay. Okay. We will have. Do we go for a risky part early on? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's do it. Build that part. That's gonna be. It's gonna be massive, isn't it? It's gonna be a massive improve. I don't think it's already gonna be a massive improvement. Like, ridiculous. So what, maybe not. Maybe just go acceleration plus 10. Because we might need that part for a while. Right. There we go. Million squids. Done. We're off the mark. Okay. Car is improving. Right. Happy with my driver. Um... I'm very, very happy with the race mechanics we've got. I'll probably maybe look to replace Mason next year. <clears throat> Hopefully, if we get... The idea is this year we get promotion. Like, we're going to need a lot of luck. We're still nowhere near the best car on the grid. But promotion this year and then replace probably GC because he just won't have improved enough to be able to make that step up. And Mason Fairley get a new dream team as they're in there, I think, would be the best bet. I think it sounds like a plane. Right. 
Okay, so we've got nine days till the race. And horribly, I'm going to end the episode there because we're already like 25 minutes long. Plus the race is going to be silly long. Let me know what you think. Look, look, look. Headquarters. Best headquarters. Best staff. Second best sponsors. Fuck you, Dragon Race team. Drivers. Six best on the grid, but much better than better than the average. And the car is it's still ninth, but it's very, it's much closer. That little arrow there is the meat is the average car, right? With a couple of parts, I think we'll we'll get there. Right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think of the new driver, Max Schmidt, um, in the comments below. Also, where do you think we're gonna finish? Okay, here's a question for you, right? Max Schmidt is going to be our main driver. He's going to get the best parts. GC is going to get the second best parts. And I want you to tell me in the comments where both drivers will finish in the championship and where they will, where we will finish in the constructors championship. And if any of you manage to get it right at the end of the, when it comes to the end of the season, I will buy you Motorsport Manager or an equivalent value game on Steam, okay? If anybody gets all three right, I'll give them that. And if there's multiple people, then I will just pick one at random. There you go. There's a little fun for you. Have a think about it. Like I said, Schmidt's going to be our first first driver. Get all the best parts. Contra GC, I was going to say a surname, but I've given up on that. GC is going to be the second driver. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, guys. See you next episode for the first race of the season. It's always the most fun one because everybody breaks down and explodes and dies.